Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me, Zug. And today we're going to be talking about where to find tin, wheat, and uh, fossilized bone. I'm going to give you a, an entire step-by-step -step guide of how to get there, what to look for, and the easiest way to do it. And I'm going to show you all of this, so you're just going to follow me around, and I'll show you where it is. Okay, so we're starting off in the home base. All of these materials are in the third zone, which you'll come in through here. The gate to the pillars of creation, you do need your fire at level 4 to get through here because of the deadly shroud. You'll probably start off over here by the ancient spire. Come through here, gates of, of pillars of creation. You will want to bring one of these with you. A flame altar, so you can drop it. You just need some stone on you to do that. But once you've done that, you get through the gates of the uh, gate to pillar of creation, and you want to drop a flame altar just outside, because there is no fast travel point for a while in this zone. So once you've done that, I've dropped mine pretty close. I haven't bothered building around it because this is I'm just using this as a waypoint. And what we're going to do is we're going to go look at tin first. So I've looked around on the internet. And all the places that say look for tin are not good places to look. So the first place it'll tell you to look is right up here in that. But you need a level 5 flame altar to actually get in there. And once you get to this zone, you will not have a level 5 flame altar. You will have a level 4. So it's completely useless to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to come... As you come up with the pillars of creation, you get turfed out around here. We're coming to here, to the umbral holler, hollow. Okay. We're just going to zip down, straight across there, and land around here. Now, the route we're taking is a very, very simple and safe route. This zone doesn't have many wandering monsters, but the ones that it does have, when you first get here, will chew you to pieces. So all you need to do over this side is find the little trackway down. And once you found that, you are golden. Alright, there it is. It's this little track. I'll show you exactly where it is on the map. It's here. I'll zoom out a bit, as you can see, right here, down into the Umbral Hollow, you've got copper above you, and as you walk down, there is a giant tin vein right here, that's one on the wall and one in the floor, right where I've got this custom marker, and this is all the tin you're going to be needing. But there is one other thing you will need in this zone that I didn't mention at the start, but I will mention it now, is the ammonia glands for leather working, because you will need to make the newer leather. So while you're here, that's a safe way in and out, so you can run about a bit. And what we're looking for are the walking mushrooms with the red orbs on them. These are what drop the ammonia glands that you'll need for the leather working. So all you need to do is just wander about until you find one. I'm just going to find one and show you what it looks like, just so you're... There it is. There's one. So you're looking for those things. That is what drops the ammonia glands. I mean... It's coming right at me, so... They're not particularly dangerous, because to attack you, they need to stop. And all you need to do is just wait for that poison ring to go, and then you can loot them. But do remember, when you are fighting these things, or once you've fought them, you loot the glands, check the route that it's come at you by, because it will drop some more on the floor. So just look around, it usually drops one or two, 
Uh, I've probably lost that one. Yeah, I've lost that one in the shroud. Oh, well, I've got a big pile of them at home. So, yeah, that's how you get the ammonia glands. And that is how you're going to be making the new version of leather. Alright, so we're going to exit out the shroud and we're going to go and find wheat and fossilized bone. Funnily enough, this is fossilized bone right here. Right underneath the custom marker. So if you want to farm it in the shroud, you can. But we're going to take these the uh, slip road back up to get out of here. As you can see, very safe route in and out. So if you're a bit trepidatious with the shroud at this level, this is quite a safe way in and out. So, tin, fossilized bone right here. And the walking mushrooms are going to be where you get the ammonia glands from. Right, so for wheat and the other fossilized bones, what you're going to want to do is get to the ancient spire in the Nomad Highlands. This isn't particularly difficult, it's a lot easier than the Revelwood one. So you just skirt around the outside of the Umbral Hollow and come up north and hit that. And on your way up you'll find somewhere called the Bounty Barn. I've dropped another flame sanctum next to it. And we're going to pop over there and have a look. As you can see, I dropped one over this side. Just because it was a very long walk if anything bad happened. So, we're going to go over to the Bounty Barn. Which is just over here. remember to bring food and stuff with you because those things hit like an absolute truck. If they'd gotten to me, they would have one-hit me. All right, Bounty Barn. That's where we're headed. So this is where you're going to be finding wheat. And the reason I'm making these videos is because as I play through and Google where to find stuff, it brings up these god-awful websites covered in ads that give very, very little information. So I'm just making these as a very quick way of finding the resources you need to carry on playing. I'm not here to try and get you to watch the videos for hours on end. I'm just giving you the information so you can get back into the game. Right, we're in the bounty barn. And it's just full of straw and wheat grain. It is also full of tigers. Oh god, I've got no arrows. Okay, well that is unfortunate. So we're going to hide like a coward. Right, so we've done that. That's where you find wheat and wheat grain. And what you want to do is carry on going up to the Nomad Highlands fast travel point, the Ancient Spire. Once you've got it, it's not very difficult. It's like all the other spires. There's some traps in there that you want to... Um, get around, open doors, all that sort of thing. A little puzzle. But once you've got that, here. And it's pretty obvious where it is. Even if I'm being blind, there we go. Because it's that giant rib cage on the map. That is the safest and easiest place to farm for fossilized bone. Nothing will touch you. You can sit out here for hours and you'll never get through it all. And all you need is a pickaxe. You can literally just fly down from the spire and land on top of it. There you go. Fossilized bone. This entire thing is just bone. So there we have it. That's how to get the major resources 
in the third zone of the Nomad Highlands. So I'll quickly go through it one last time. Gates, the Pillar of Creation, so you come in, drop a Sanctum there, and that gives you access to Tin and Fossilized Bone. Come around here, you'll have to do Looper's Lair for a couple of quests, so I do suggest dropping another Sanctum there. That also gives you access to Wheat and Wheat Grain, and then come up here to get the Spire. And once you've done that, you're pretty much set. And you can do whatever you want in this zone. So I really hope this has helped, folks. If it has, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. It really does help us out. And uh, I shall see you all for the next one. So until then, take it easy, and I shall see you later.